in the following video, I'd like to highlight for you some of the other common causes as to why a PSA test can actually be elevated. If you do get value from this video, please consider subscribing, like the video, and if you have any comments or if you'd like to share your experience with this test, please leave those comments uh, down below. Well, let's start with BPH. BPH is benign prostatic hyperplasia. It is a condition that affects men with increasing frequency as we progress through life. In essence, it is the benign non-cancerous enlargement to the prostate. In essence, when we have more prostate cells, which happens with BPH, the prostate is bigger, but it also produces more PSA. I should say at this point that the PSA, it stands for prostatic specific antigen. It's a chemical. It's found in a man's ejaculate fluid and small amounts are found in the bloodstream. As I've highlighted, we're going to look at the conditions that increase the probability of having a higher PSA, and BPH is one of those. 